Hi, so we're here doing something, something we've never done before. A first, actually, a Skype interview with Dr. Dinesh Palipana, who became a doctor while going through quadriplegia. Now, as you all know, it's a very trainous and very difficult thing to do to become a doctor, let alone have this uh, barricading you. But do stay tuned as we find out how we find out Dr. Dinesh went through this and got to where he is today. My name is Abid and this is Pulse. Hi, Dr. Dinesh. How are you today? Yeah, I'm good. How are you? How was the new year? Happy New Year, by the way. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you too. How was it? In uh, okay, so, yeah. you're, so you're, you're in Australia right now, and I'm pretty sure the fireworks yeah. and the fireworks displays and all the celebrations there are definitely, um, well, I'm not going to say much better than Sri Lanka, but obviously more exaggerated there in Australia than it is in Sri Lanka. How is it? <laughs> well, yeah, it's, uh, first of all, it's really hot. So it's uh, been about 35 degrees for a couple of days, so it's stinking hot, but uh, the fireworks were great. Um, we actually thought it was on at 8 p.m. last night, so we missed the main bit, which was actually on at 9 p.m. I see. Uh, but it, it was spectacular then anyway. Let's see, tell me. How's life in Australia so far? I mean, you've been there for some time. You've been in the Sri Lankan yeah. scene as well. You know what's going on. How is it like? What's the yeah. difference? Ah, well, um, so I moved here when I was 10 years old in 1994. Um, so you can figure out how old I am now on that. Um, but <laughs> <laughs> I'd say you're, you're like around uh, 25, 26. You look quite young. 32. No, I'm pretty close, pretty close, but you look like 25. <laughs> but yeah, tell me. Yeah, so uh, it's different, you know. I. Um, I spent a couple of years in Sri Lanka recently uh, and I think it was a very exciting place to be because a lot of things were changing and there's so much new stuff happening. Um, so uh, I came back after being away for 20 years at that time. So it was really interesting to see how far the country's come, um, but it's definitely a very different lifestyle. You know, the, I see. Um, yeah, where, where I live, it's very different to the hustle and bustle of Colombo and all the noises and, you know, all the food true, and all those true. things. It's very different. Well, let's, uh, well let's, not, let's not let's not uh, keep the moment that we've all been waiting to discuss and waiting any longer. It's obviously okay. quite an honor to be uh, talking to you right now. So, I mean, with your accomplishment, how you got through it, with all the endeavors you went through, uh, I'd like to congratulate you myself personally, but tell me, how is it for yourself? How did you feel yourself after going through so much of hard work when a lot of people, I'm pretty sure a lot of people, even your own family, perhaps even told you that you can't do it and you still went ahead and you went through it and you finally actually got to where you are right now. How does it feel? Tell me the story behind it, how you got here, what it feels like, <laughs> so on and so forth. It's surreal, actually. Uh, it feels unreal. So when I uh, walked across the stage, or rolled across it rather, it, um, I think it, it sort of materialized and I thought, wow, this is actually happening. Um, but the week leading up to it, I was like, oh, wow, I can't believe I got here. Um, yeah, when I, when I started the journey back, um, actually my mom was telling me recently that there was a particular doctor that said, oh, you know, he can't be a doctor anymore. He, he's done for and um, how is he going to get around the hospital and do his clinicals and all that kind of thing. So there were a lot of people that I think, um, you know, wrote me off at that point in time. Um, but, uh, yeah, coming back, I also had a lot of support and my mum's been with me the whole way. Um, and, you know, we just made it happen and it feels great. To get to this point if you don't mind me asking i mean it must have been a tough time for you to go through what you did i mean i can't even imagine yeah. what it must be like but tell me do you reminisce what it was like before the accident and do you think that the accident perhaps changed things for the better maybe this was destined maybe this was how it encouraged you to get to where you are today tell me what what's your perspective on that um so Life before the accident was actually very, very good. I, uh, you know, I had the career of my dreams. I had my friends. I had, I had all the material trappings that would make someone happy. So life wasn't exactly terrible at the time, but um, 
you know, after the accident, uh, when I had the accident, it just changed everything. Tell us so about your entire the accident. World, How did it happen? So what happened was I was uh, driving um, from my parents' house one night. I went to visit them. They live about an hour and a half away. And when I was driving back, my car, I think, we think it hit a water puddle or a slippery part of the road. And it uh, started sliding everywhere. And then it rolled. So it rolled and rolled and rolled. And when it finally came to a spot, I tried to get out of the car. And I realized, well, I couldn't move my legs. So I couldn't, I couldn't actually move myself out of the car. And I touched my leg and I said, wow, I can't, I can't feel my legs. So that's when I knew what happened. Were you in the car um, by yourself or were, with, were you with your parents? That, no, I was, I was alone at the time. Uh, which I think is fortunate, actually, because I would have hated True. True. else to be involved. True. Uh, uh, so yeah, and then after that, um, there was a car driving behind me. They called the ambulance. The ambulance came. The fire truck came. They cut me out of the car. The funny thing that happened at that point was when I was in the ambulance, I looked up and I saw there was a doctor in the ambulance. He actually lectured me through medical school. So I looked up and I said, wow, hey, I, I recognize you. You, you look a bit familiar. Said, oh. <laughs> so, yeah, there was that moment. But to be honest, uh, in the ambulance, I was freaking out a little bit because, um, you know, my, um, yeah, I, I knew what this meant. Um, and I knew that the spinal cord injury is very serious, sure. and the paralysis. Yeah, I was thinking about how... I'm going to get on with life. And it one of the must questions, have been a little bit more difficult for you, seeing as you knew what exactly you were going through. I mean, if any, if it happened to any of us, I mean, we'd probably hope for the best. But you knew exactly what you were going through, and as you were going through this period of time, tell me, did you have a couple of doubts yourself if you could perhaps make it to where you are today? Did you doubt yourself, or were you always adamant on getting to where you are right now? Well. That's the thing. When I was in the ambulance, I the first thing I asked the doctor was, "How am I going to finish medical school?" Um, so from that moment, I always wanted to come and finish what I started. Um, along the way, yeah, I, I definitely had doubts. Um, you know, I because I can't use. I lost the use of my fingers. I lost the use of my legs. So I thought, how how am I actually going to make this happen? Um, but I think you just have to take it one day at a time. And um, you, you know, my life actually, when I came back to medical school, it, I had to run it like the military because everything takes a lot longer for me to get ready and finish night. So sometimes I would get up for weeks at the end at 3 a.m. and I'd go to the hospital, do, do what it was done. Usually I would get home at 10 or 10 p.m. Get up again four or five hours later and do it again. So I just had to approach it like, you know, like an athlete or the military to make it possible. But I think it turned out pretty well. Pretty well. I think it turned out bloody amazing. I mean, look at you. I mean, congratulations. I, I mean, to be honest, I don't think there are enough words to describe what you feel like right now. But if I were to put it into a sentence, I'm pretty sure that you feel really, really great about yourself and really exalted. And if I were to ask you one last question. Yeah. What sort of advice would you give someone who, well, I'm not going to say who would just go through the same situation as you would, but who would need the kind of motivation, the adamant you had the adamance you had to actually believe in yourself and go through with it and believe in your idea and achieve that goal what sort of advice would you give someone a newbie or anyone in that matter who just wants to achieve their dreams relieve live their dreams rather and uh, just like you did get to where you are what would you tell them yeah well I think it's a mixture of things but it's not magic um, if you have something that really moves your heart which is what medicine is for me. Um, I think you just have to, uh, that's it. So if you really believe in something and if you want something, 
there's absolutely nothing stopping you from getting it if you just work and you just go at it every day you believe that you can get there and you just let it consume you and you will arrive at that point so that's the advice i would give anyone very wise words indeed and i'm pretty sure anyone watching this would obviously be motivated enough to go chase their dreams i mean not just anyone me myself i'm just looking at you sir it's quite an honor to be actually talking to you and you made me realize that i need to work more on my dreams and there's nothing stopping me except myself once again thank you so much dr dinesh and uh, i'd like to wish you nothing but the best i mean you already have the best but hey we could all do with a little more luck in our lives so I'd like to wish you nothing but the best for the future and thank you so much for having for taking time out of your busy schedule and talking to us and having this conversation with us and letting the rest of the world know what it was like to go through what you did and what it's like to achieve your goals. Thank you once Great. again. Well, fantastic for having me and uh, happy new year. Happy new year to and, you too. Um, thank you very much. Don't party too hard. Keep it safe <laughs> as always. Thank you so much. All right.